Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today is a super, super exciting day. Why, Sydney? Why is it exciting? Because I'm going to see Santa Claus. We're going to go meet Santa Claus right now, and Sydney is so excited. She woke up and is her... Is she going to see Santa Claus? I, yeah, I don't know. She woke up and had a note from Sparkles, her elf, that said, if you want to meet Santa, I know where he is. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm always watching you. Mm hmm. So everybody watch. I will, honey. Wow. What did you think of meeting Santa? Uh, it was great. It was great? Yeah. yeah, so fun. She got to meet Santa. Um, and now I'm getting myself a drink at Starbucks. I saw, I never get like these fancy drinks anymore. I, I don't know. I just haven't. But I saw this post online and it's called the Frosty. They have a bunch of different um, like character names of drinks that this place made up. And this one seems delicious and easy. Definitely not healthy, but it's called Frosty. It's an iced toasted white mocha latte with peppermint cold foam. It seems simple enough. I'm going to get that non-fat. It's like Frosty the Snowman. Yeah, Frosty the Snowman. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That sounds delicious and festive and I peppermint cold foam. I didn't know that they could do like different flavors of cold foam. If you, I don't know. I just have never asked. Hi, can I please have a grande iced, um, white chocolate mocha latte, non-fat? All right. Do you want can I, cream on that? Um, can I actually have that with peppermint cold foam? Unfortunately, we are all out of the peppermint. Okay, that was a little bit of a bummer. They don't have, they're out of peppermint syrup. But I'm definitely going to try that drink at some point when, maybe when they get peppermint back. But I ended up getting a sugar cookie almond milk latte. I don't know. I've seen mixed cookie? reviews. You it's cookie not a cookie. No, not a cookie, honey. It's just a, like a coffee. Okay. A coffee flavor. So I ended up getting one of those and we'll see. Okay. I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews. Yeah. I don't know what they are. Well, that's gross. What? Why are so many people liking this? Why is it gross? So Sydney got a little like reindeer paper headband and this little penguin arts and crafts it looks like you can put together. And then um, of course like a little mini candy cane too. I am gonna go downtown. There's my favorite shop for like little kids. City's starting to be too big for all of like the clothes and stuff that they offer. They go up to like 4T, maybe like 5T. But anyway, they have the cutest little shop. I've shared them on here so many times. Um, and they're doing like 30% off for local moms today only. And it, I just remembered and I was like, wait, I gotta go check things out, see what they have um, since they're doing a discount for local moms, which I just love. I just love it. I think it's so sweet. Um, and I want to support local, small and local as much as possible. Like, um, yesterday, you know, just went to the local toy shop as well for like my niece and, and whatnot. So yeah, I'm making Sydney go potty and then we're going to run out the door, go check out what they have and then see like the downtown Christmas tree. It's not going to be lit up cause it's only two, but
All right, so it's the next day when I was filming this and Cindy and I decided to make some cookies. I wanted to make chocolate crinkle cookies um, because I just feel like they scream holiday season and I got the recipe off of Pinterest. So I'm going to go ahead and link it down below. There's many different recipes you can follow. Um, and this was like the first one that I saw that seemed pretty popular. They came out really good. So it was two and a quarters cup flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt in one bowl and mix all of those dry ingredients together. In a larger mixing bowl, one cup unsweetened Dutch cocoa. I just use this unsweetened cocoa powder. I don't know if it's Dutch, honestly. Uh, one and a quarter cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of canola oil. I only had vegetable oil. These came out fine. I don't know. Um, and then beat in four eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then you add all of your dry ingredients, like your flour mixture, into the wet ingredients and put that in the refrigerator covered with like saran wrap for about 30 to 40 minutes. It's key that you chill this uh, cookie dough so that it makes that nice crack and it's not too sticky and it doesn't spread out and get super flat. So I ended up waiting about 40 minutes and then you take them out of the refrigerator and roll them into balls. The oven is set to 350 degrees and then you can put them on like a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. So roll them into balls and then pop them into the bowl of confectionery sugar and cover them like completely cover them in confectionery sugar and that way you have like those nice deep like crackles. I don't know. I just love the way they look. Um, and then bake them for about 10 to 11 minutes. I ended up baking them for probably closer to a 11 and they came out perfect they're like brownie cookies if that makes sense crispy on the outside chewy fudgy on the inside and delicious Hey guys, so it's the next morning, um, but I did want to do a formal goodbye. I know I it's I like don't do those nowadays, um, but yeah, those cookies, the crinkle cookies, came out really, really good. I'm gonna link the recipe below, like I said, um, if you guys are interested. And there's a lot of different versions of them as well. They're not as super sweet 
um, of cookies because of the cocoa, like adds like that like sharpness to it, if that's even the right word, like a little bit of bitterness, um, and it's unsweetened cocoa. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I'm gonna pick up today vlogging for the next Vlogmas. I think I'm gonna make some chocolate covered cherries, homemade chocolate covered cherries. I went out to the grocery store, got some of the ingredients yesterday to make those, and I told Sydney that I would, and those need to be in the freezer for a little bit. So look forward to that. I can't believe we're so close to Christmas already. Like I'm kind of having a little minor, like I, I the older you get, the faster it comes. It's just so crazy to me, but anyway, I'm gonna get to finishing up editing this video. I have some dishes to do and cleaning to do. We'll see you in the next one.